Alrighty then, folks. Hello there, and welcome back to some more SD Gundam G Generations Cross Rays. So, in the small interlude I did between this and the last setting session, cool. I was just making the test bar go away. My bad. Um, yeah. So, in the small interlude I did, uh, I upgraded everyone to a bunch of things. You can watch that if you want to. Um, I haven't made any decisions on the Gujian. Or the, uh, enact yet. Can I trade you for anything? I can do a din. Or a, one of the roadies. Kind of want to do a din, actually. But we're in space, and dins are ground only. Yeah, I'm not going to make that mistake. Anyway. Yeah, so we're about to do seed. Um, I did a poll about four days ago now for me. Uh, probably five for you guys. And as it was decided, seed got... 32 votes and Gecko the next highest had 25 so we are going to do the first level in seed that also though gives us access to the Archangel which I am very excited about because the Archangel works in land and space and that's all I really wanted out of this game to get rid of that raid group and get something better yay that being said though if we wanted to we could also get the Dominion which I imagine the Dominion will come around Eh, mission 12? Maybe mission 11? I can't imagine it coming any sooner than them. The Dominion being the evil version of the Archangel. Uh, I'm not kidding. They did that. Yeah, so we're going to do that. and we're uh, Me and my own time, I'm going to go grind out the first mission of Seed to get the Archangel, but you guys don't have to worry about that. I'm not going to make you guys watch. That would be kind of crazy. Um, So Seed was basically... After Gundam X, Gundam was not doing good. Not at all. It was doing really bad. So they kind of threw a lot of their money into... Well, they purchased... Or Bamco purchased Sunrise at the time. They threw a bunch of Sunrise's remaining money into a series. That series ended up being Seed, which is kind of a modernization of the original series. With some pretty major changes. It used all digital stuff. And yeah, it was... To some people, it was, it, it was exciting, and it was one of the most popular Gundam series in Japan up until 2014 when IBO got announced. Yeah, it's a strange thing. I have a problem with Destiny. Seed is pretty much a good retelling up until a certain point, and then it gets kind of preachy. And I'll make fun of Kira when it happens, and I'll tell you guys exactly why it happened. But we'll get there eventually. Anyway, it looks like we have Miguel Ayman. Me er, yeah. Was his name always Miguel? He pilots a, like, tiger-striped djinn. Basically, Miguel's thing is he's supposed to pilot the strike, but they killed him. So that didn't happen. Though I'm guessing this is following the remaster where they didn't shoot him when he just got away, and then they killed the djinn that he was piloting. We got Atherin, who has leadership. Izak, who piloted the duel. We got Diarca, who piloted the buster. And then we have Nickel, who liked to play the piano. You'll understand what I'm talking about later. They will bring it up constantly. Anyway, though. But yes, Nickel also piloted the Blitz. But now it is time to blow up some colonies. Cosmic 当初の予測は大きく裏切られ、選挙区は疲弊したまますでに11ヶ月が過ぎようとしていた。They entered a ceasefire in May and it dragged on for almost the end of the year. We never heard this before, by the way. 地球軍はこの膠着状態を打破すべく、中立国オーブの資源衛星コロニーヘリオポリスにて極秘裏に新型モビルスーツと心臓戦艦を開発。so for reasons, they were developing a mobile suit in space Switzerland. But while investigating Side 7, Char Aznable uncovers a, a horrible secret of the Earth Federation. Except for its neutral territory this time, so both sides are breaking the law instead of just one side. All right, my stupid commentary will end with that.
何してるんだよそっち行ったってなんでついてくるそっちこそ早く逃げろ That was echoey like really echoey の,の子いいから行け私には確かめねばならぬことがある、uh, I think they used her original、uh, audio for her 行けたってどこへもう戻れないよえっとほらこっち And that is our protagonist, Kiri Yamato. He is Jesus. Except this now. There is some stuff that went along behind the lines with Kigali's voice actress. ヘリオポリスに住む少年キラヤマトは避難中ザフトの狙いである地球軍のモビルスーツを目撃する。During Destiny and I think she still refuses to work with Bandai for anything now, which I fully understand. We'll explain that more later though. Nani? こ,これって。Them's words. そして偶然にもザフト兵の一人と対面したキラはその人物がかつての親友アスランザラであることに気づく。アスラン？キラ。下がってなさい。死にたいの。<笑>アスラン。そんなまさかかつて心を許した親友との思わぬ再会にキラは戸惑うそして運命は少年たちをモビルスーツのコックピットへといざない戦いの宿命が今ガンダムと共に動き出そうとしていた So I watched the bootleg version of Seed before it did come out on Toonami When I was much, much younger. And they had translated his name as Asran, like A S S U R A N. So I still call him Asuran occasionally, or Asran when I'm mad at him. But he, his character arc was really good in the first, in like Seed, and I liked it. And then Destiny happened, and I didn't like it. So you'll notice how they're all like grayish, except for their weapons and their shields, which are manually painted. That's something called phase shift armor.、Uh, basically, when a current's not running through it, it doesn't have color, or it has very muted color. You can paint over it, but it was either considered a waste or it, like messed up a bit of the phase shift. I'm not quite sure which one it was. So, yeah, these are the deactivated versions, though I doubt that will be in the game. It'd be cool if you got to zero energy and you went gray. They had them in the seed fighting game, though, and I kind of really liked that.、Um, so, if you're curious, they're all three rewriting their OSs right now. Yeah, because they have something called coordinators or genetically engineered people. They are smarter than everyone else, and there is a race war going on between the naturals on Earth and then the coordinators in space. Because the naturals don't like. Being,、uh, don't like feeling less superior than the coordinators. That's a problem for them, so they started nuclear genocide. That ended after the colonies kind of dropped a colony on them and they realized how bad it was. 
That there is the strike, though. And that's the Aegis. So, most of these mobile suits have their own kind of gimmicky thing, right? The Aegis turns into a claw. It's for, like, anti-ship stuff or something, I don't know. But, ah, uh, Rusty doesn't have his own custom gin in this one, I'm kind of sad. Yeah, so I was getting Miguel and Rusty mixed up. Rusty was the one who was supposed to pilot the strike and didn't. So you remember in the original Gundam how he had unloaded into him, Gene had unloaded into him with a 120 millimeter machine gun and it just bounced off his armor? That was basically that. Though this time it's magic armor instead of magic paint, like in IPO. Weak OS is nuts. I thought he said weak nuts OS through right there, so I was going to make fun of it. So Kira here is something called the Ultimate Coordinator. He is literally a god and can do anything, but we'll get to that. Can we defeat him with anything else? Oh yeah, we have the Head Vulcans. We're gonna do something really stupid. We have uh, yeah, we have phase shift, so technically nothing he can do can hurt us. I think we've seen that before, but I just wanted to put it out there. We'll see all the Jin's attacks eventually. And I'll say this every time I see it. Backup weapons for mobile suits are always a good idea because you never know when something's going to break. He keeps using his most powerful weapon, so. Oh no, we took 1300 damage. We regained 20% of our HP per turn. Oh, and it was explosive. I 
応答なし多元駆動システム停止ええー So when he said direct hit, I thought he said traitor, but he was saying traitor. The super dimensional drive system. Now, instead of staring at your suit, eject and run away. And if this was IBO, he would have ejected from his suit and ran away, and then they would have grabbed the Jin and kept it. And then they would find another coordinator to pilot it later. Or Mu would have piloted it, and it would have been super badass. That is a Nazuka class cruiser, I believe. I really like how the Zaft cruisers look. They're stupidly inefficient and would never work in real life. But I like how it looks. Kinda hoping this one isn't gonna take like an hour and a half. I couldn't see it if it was, but it might. Hey, it's those characters who kind of rem that are kind of important for like three episodes. Woo! See, and that's why you put a bullet in her head and leave her there and sell this to Zaft. Because the Earth Federation is just full of dickles in this one. I mean, Nire is not that bad, but still, like, what the fuck? Your first instinct was to go for the gun instead of yelling. How many bullets do you got in there? Do you got seven? Probably twelve needed for Kira? That's also how you know Mire is not a real officer. She doesn't think, how many shots do I have? How many can I afford to use? And can I put one into myself after it's over? Hate to say it, but you kind of need to know that one. You're at war. You guys just dragged neutrals into your conflict. Very big difference between those two things. Yeah, destroy it and bring back the pieces. I mean, it sucks that you can't get it intact, but you'll probably be able to figure some stuff out of it at least. Um, there's, there's a couple of those, like, card games that actually had it where, uh, Rusty captured the strike, and it, 
turns into something like the duel since they didn't have the strike packs. I actually really liked that strike. The Zaf strike is one of my favorite seed suits. Or the um, Earth Federation duel was also really cool. Um, imagine the duel with like an alley pack from the strike and a main cannon from the buster. Oops, they detonated the nuke. Wait, you guys don't keep nukes in your colonies? We do. I wonder if we're going to have the missile mission or if it's going to be just like straight gins. Um, so there's something called neutron jammer cancelers in this world, which prevents, you know, particles from sparking or pulls the power out of particles when they try to either break apart or combined. And so those were deployed literally everywhere. Like, you have to get within 250 miles of the nearest anything to get, out, get to a place where a nuclear reactor will work. And the entirety of the Earth's surface and the moon were covered in them. So instead of using that, they use batteries on everything because nuclear reactors aren't going to work. The thing that no one brings up is, you know, the human body also breaks apart certain things to, you know, get oxygen into your blood and a few other things. And, you know, the mitochondria require, uh, uses something similar to power your cells. We don't worry about that, though. Just ignore it. But somebody did like a scientific breakdown on why these would never work. You can probably find out on the internet. I haven't seen it in like 10 years, though, so. But yeah, that's what they're talking about, like recharging and everything. So everything runs off batteries, including the strike right now. Where they get those batteries is mostly um, natural sources, gas. And there are some uh, deep space energy generation sites that they, you know, charge a bunch of batteries and send those out. I believe Artemis Base was one of those, but I don't know if they'll mention it or not. It's been a long time since I've seen either the base series of Seed or the remaster. My brother, though, watches it, like, maybe once every six months. But I haven't honestly watched anime since I last played Super Robot Wars. Tell me this kid defeated a Jin. I know it's an acronym, but I find it funny. See, Jin is something that you would read it out instead of calling it a G-I-N-N. -N. GM is only two characters. You don't read out two character things. It's four or above. The acronyms is what I meant by things, but can't think of the word at the time. Look it up. It's a real rule in English. They're GMs, not Jims. That was the English dub thinking they were saying Jim. 
they're saying Jimu, which is the sound neutral letters for G and Mu. Um, Japanese only has syllables. It doesn't have individual letters like we do, or individual letters being individual sounds. So they use the neutral ones. And yes, it changes for every, uh, all nine of the tenses. Or is it ten if you count up Q? I'm a first generation coordinator. So Mula Flaga and Raleigh Croissant are some of the only new types in this entire world. I wonder if they would have tried to capture the Archangel as well. That'd be kind of cool if they did, but I doubt it. I don't think they actually knew about the Archangel. Similar to how they didn't know about the Asteres either. Even though apparently the Asteres were just being worked on in the building next door. Atherin is the son of the head of the plants, or the chairman of the plants, as they call him. So everyone knows who he is. And those are anti sea, or those are siege weapon gins. So they're anti colony missiles, I believe they're officially called. And the gin is carrying a laser cannon. That's just the cut down version of a. Uh, of a battleship's cannon. I forget what the term they used. It's like, uh, it means like wolf or something in a Scandinavian language. It's not lupus, it's like lupin or something. <gasps> He's deploying in the ages. Yep, it turns into a, like, it transforms into a weird claw thing. To be fair, you could get more combat data that way, but you're gonna get the Aegis trashed, and you don't have any, repa any replacement parts or any way to repair it. Because you don't know how to do that yet, or at least you shouldn't. You're going to have to completely rebuild it. <laughs> yeah, just drop them off in the destroyed colony. It'll be fine. They can live off the rabbits they'll find in space. Ah yes, the racism is finally coming out. He's genetically engineered, thus inferior to me, damn it. I can't look <laughs> I can't have the troops looking down on me. End jammers.
So, unlike in UC and this one, they actually kind of went crazy on the asteroid bases. And they have, like, hundreds if not thousands of them. Most of them, though, are run by the Eurasian Federation, who are basically Asia and Russia. They're the evil people of the Alliance. Or, well, not the evil people, because they're all kind of assholes. But they're the ones who, like, you know, use slave soldiers and stuff. Only because they're from Russia and Asia, and this is made by Japanese people, so... The Chinese are bad, the Russians are bad, the Koreans are bad to a degree, and they're liars. Southeast Asians are less than people. You know, usual Japanese outlooks on things. And the Americans are just to be tolerated and ignored. And South America doesn't exist, that's part of America, right? Which is funny, too, because Brazil has the second highest population of Japanese speakers. Look, it's real, look it up. Also, can you stop with the siren? I mean, please? I don't have headphones on, but I can hear it from there. Please, please, please. Kira. I already have the strike though, so it's not much of an improvement. Is that really you? Thank you. My ears are still ringing from that. Hey, we have the sword loadout. We have a giant anti-ship sword. I didn't get to use it because it's considered a beam attack in this one, which it does use a beam. But we can finally use it. And I think we'll only get four. Yeah, we only get four. So I don't think we'll use these two. I think we'll go... Let's go with the Blitz. And the uh, Perfect Strike. And you know what? Uh, we're actually going to... Remove the Sublight System, because we don't need it. So we're going to have the you, 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 uh, no, not you, 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 and you. I, I think it's kind of funny that we're using the top of the line enemy prototype against them. Um, let's see, stand by. I swear I'm not doing this on purpose. Okay, now we'll start. Can Kira defeat Atherin? Yes. Will I enjoy it? No. Oh, it's the Barris or Barius. Yeah, we had the chance to pick one of these up, but it has a beam cannon, so I didn't. Um, besides that, they had the D-type Jins. Oh, they're called Pardises, but yeah, they're uh very very large missiles designed to blow up space fortresses. And in this one, there appears to be 12 enemies. So, more than likely, this will take about 10 minutes. I am all about that. Um, first off, Blitzy Poo. With your insane range. The Pincer Lock Glitner, which literally has no chance of missing. Oh, shoot. I need to check missions. I hadn't done that at all. Oh, and son of a bitch, I'm actually probably going to get, probably going to get in trouble for this. Great. Let's see. Yeah, we already have that. Yeah, that one's fine. Yeah, we got that. I reached a thousand kills. Oh. Oh, that's how we get the Gundam X. So we can't produce Gundam Xs right now. We can only, we only got them from that mission, remember? So. Oh, goddamn, we have to use the Bean Claw. No one wants to use the Bean Claw. Yeah, so we have to sortie Tifa to get that. Yeah, it is a Bean Claw on its shield. 
Alright, so Sorty Poo. Um We'll probably see this in a second as well with the strike, but screw it, I'm doing it. That wasn't a lightsaber. It was a beam saber. It's different. Um, can you transform? Can we grab you all transformed? Not gonna lie, it's kind of disappointing that it's only the tail. Alright, so... I'm going to pull you all the way forward. We're going to shoot at you with our warship cannon. Oh hey, we got hit from there. Oh well. It's fine, we'll heal that, don't worry about it. Um, do we want to Shenlong them? Do we want to Rigan Glaze them? Do we want to use the Dynamis to snipe them? Remember what I said in the last mission, that once we had beam weapons, everything would be a lot faster? I wasn't kidding. Anything? No, you only have the rifle. Yeah, okay, it's the same animations as when Miko was doing stuff. I was just curious if he had custom animations or not. I'm not surprised that he didn't, though. Um. Ah, oh, we can't sword mode, people. That sucks. But, we can do it here. Yeah, we'll sort of people later. Um, Shenrong? Yeah, you can't. You don't have the amazing movement that everyone else has, sadly. I kind of like that this one's version of it just because like the blade in the front and then the claws make it look like it'd actually be useful for something other than a military weapon um we want to bail sword him and then you know clean him up with somebody else all oh, right yeah you don't have the stupidly good range McGillis does
Um. Let's see. Dynamies. Let's move you up to here. NGN missile. I mean, do we even need to pull the Haro out? I don't think so. And the Gusion. Alright. Are you part. Are you a raid group or a warship group? You're a raid group. I, I mean that that just makes it good that like he didn't react to it at all like okay damn it Kira you're supposed to be the ultimate coordinator why are you so bad at your job why aren't you more ultimate in shit? And cool and stuff. Don't worry, we're using them inside the colony. It's fine. Yeah, we'll pay for that and all that. Depth charge? Sure. Yeah, we just depth charged it, dude. Nice. I believe in the anime, didn't it have the beam gun as well when it was in mobile armor form? Oh. Well. Don't worry, we'll sword ass run. Don't worry, we'll head Vulcan you to death. We stabbed you with the knife last time, we'll head Vulcan you this time. What? No! Hey, reflexes too. <laughs> of that, everyone goes down GN drive up. Like, sweet. Do we want to be a douchebag and just, you know, do that? I mean, we could. Um... I'm curious as to what this is. I have no idea, to be honest. Oh, yeah, it's the... It's those things. They're for, like, tearing apart warships. Oh, you have the boomerang, too. Cool. Yeah. 
けられたのか<笑>ここまでなのか Alright, and then if we go here, transform ya. Do you have like hit burst or anything like that? You do. Move you up to here. Have you beam sword at max power, this guy? The reason why I'm doing it like this. I didn't think it would do that much damage, I will be honest. I was not expecting that. Alright then. まずは私の方から参ります。すまない。この狩りは必ず返す。That was cool. All right. Yeah, I know. I know. I know. Um. So if we go over here, beam rifle. So that's about 5,000 left. Um, that's cool. You hit us. Good job. I was hoping for that. Sweet. Don't die. You better not die. All right, yeah, you have the shitload of HP still. Yeah, never mind. Kira Yamato, Yahari Kiminaka. Nazi, Nazi Kimiga. Oh, my Koso, Nanda Sonamononi no Teru. It's like, well, you see, you just tried to kill me like twenty minutes ago. Yarishka Nai. Kurede. He said, Atherin Zala, I am returning. Yes. Oh, don't worry. He's just going to chop off his arms and legs and his head and kick him down a well. He didn't kill him, though. He was still alive when he got kicked down that well. The well killed him. Not his fault. And we got leadership, yay! Ah yes, those nuclear bombs we keep in all the colonies. It's a good thing Heliopolis accidentally got two of the nuclear bombs, instead of just the one. Some other sad colony somewhere got two water chips though. Lucky bastards. So as long as you don't need water and you just need nukes, we're great.
pass run. So instead of the sword, which is anti-ship capabilities, he's gonna go for the Ali strike pack. Or the Ali pack. Or Irie, depending on what you want to call it. We got drafted! We're gonna do so many good things, like hunting down civilians and killing them and eating them. It'll be great! Did I mention we get to kill them? They're not that bad, but... Kira Yamato! Gundam! Ikimasu! Hey, can we capture some gins? Yeah, but see, everyone else doesn't know that. And so since you did, and you're just making that up, and you're the one who blew up the colony, only people on your side are going to support you. And they're going to use this as political ammunition against your whole regime, and you're going to look like the bad guys. Because you are the bad guys. But they have all these weird new mobile suits to show off. But you guys don't have proof that they were there. You have data that indicates they were there. But you're the one supplying the data. If you heard that noise, that was new type noise. Oh, I wanted to capture some shit. Oh well. I'll let them come to me then, assholes. Assholes all lagging behind and shit. Like, I got no respect for somebody having other things to do today. Like, murder all their friends. Explosive is really good if you let it be. Alright, so. Beam Saw Bear. That was cool. And we'll move up a little bit, use the 50 millimeter. I'm gonna get in trouble for this, but I don't really care to be honest. Oh, it's just a beam rifle. What fun is that? Alright. And... Beiru. 
We'll move you to the center of here. Go after here. We got Juliet's sword anime or sword whip. Uh, sword mode then. Gonna be a dick about it like that. I think technically we've seen those before, but oh well. Uh. Yeah, you can't get very far. I'm gonna upgrade his movement when I get the chance. Yep. And then next round, we'll just kill them all. Um, you're using a beam rifle against them. It's probably a bad idea. So, in my mind's eye, what had happened is, like, he turned around and started firing back with the rifle, and each shot just kind of, like, bounced off, like, yeah, there's nothing. Oh, right, I forgot about Epion. Um, have a max power sword. This spanking new model. Oh, I, I want to point out, Nickel's a guy. Yeah, if you're wondering, why am I pointing that out? I, for the first, like, five years of my life, thought Nickel, or... Five years I knew about the show, thought Nickel was a girl. My bad. He has a very feminine-sounding voice. Also, I clicked my tongue back there. My bad. I try not to do that. It's not very good manners. Oh, you're about to die. I did not know that. Then again, you are in a standard ashtray. Oh no, your movement's down. You are going to pull back to over here. Uh, you're going to swing at this man's face with an extra large mace. You're going to move to here. Uh, you can't kill either of them, so... You know what? Screw it. Oh. Well, damn.
I was not expecting them to crit. My bad. As things go, though, I'm not too hit up about that one. Yeah, kind of unlucky, man. There you go. He already has leader one. Oh, it's Nazca, not Nazca. One's a, you know, British magician. The other one's uh, probably how they think the British ma magician is spelled. If you're wondering, I read the book. He's from Wales. He's British. Well, he's technically Welsh, which is like being from Britain. Notice how we're going to the Atlantic Federation, not the Eurasian Federation. They're different. The uh, There's three nations that make up the alliance, and they all very much don't like each other, I'm pretty sure. And then there's a couple of natural countries like, you know, the Scandinavian monarchy, South America, Orb. Also, this is Flay. Flay is a coordinator. Well, she's not a coordinator, but she's genetically engineered, which makes you a coordinator. But she also hates coordinators and will refuse that she is a coordinator. People think she's not one, but her hair color and her eyes were genetically engineered in the womb. She is technically a coordinator. Not all coordinators are smarter than everyone, but having any work done on you means you're a coordinator. Mostly really smart, really dexterous, and uh, very good looking coordinators are Gen 3s. The only problem with Gen 3s is they're basically sterile. 
after about Gen 2, there's only about a 10% chance you'll be able to have a kid. And then Gen 3s are, for the most part, sterile. The only ex uh, the only ones that aren't are Athrin and Lacus. Though we're not even sure that Lacus is even a coordinator, but she probably is. There is, like, some debate over that. And technically, we don't know if it's true about Athrin either, but his dad's a Gen 2 coordinator, so he's a Gen 3. We just don't know if he can have kids. So, um, in one of the early talked about things was that Kigali was pregnant during Destiny. But uh, we don't know if that's true or not, and it probably isn't. Yeah, because we had the strike, we get Kira, and then we get Miguel. But God, his face just, like, weirds me out. And we also got a limiter off. I am all about that. That's cool. But anyway, folks, that'll be that. Like the episode if you like it, dislike it if it didn't. We'll be back for more in, I don't know, tomorrow? Maybe the next day? It depends on when I can get the Archangel. Um, you know, I, we could just do the Artemis base. This will explain all the stuff about the Blitz. But anyway, folks, good night.